one of my subscribers requested for an easy pulao recipe, uh, which is pulao rice, um, and this is what I'm going to share with you now. I hope you like it. And for the rice, which is the key ingredient for the pulao, of course, there's no pulao without the rice. I'm using Akash Gold. This is aged basmati rice. I don't know if you can actually see. And the actual grains, when you cook it, come out really, really nice. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a little golden. But of course you can use any, any basmati rice. Six cups of rice here which I've washed and soaked in water. I've got about 500 grams of chicken. Instead of chicken you can use uh, mince meat or lamb. And then I've got, uh, although it's three onions, I'm just going to use two and a half. A piece of ginger which I'm going to use a large chunk, not all of it. Um, and then this is about a half, not even half, about a quarter uh, of a bulb. Here I've got um, ghee, which is clarified butter, about a tablespoon. And I'm going to use about uh, two to three uh, tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. And I'm also going to be using some um, vegetables. These are frozen mixed veg. You can use potatoes instead. And for the dry spices, um, Realistically, all you need is um, bay leaves, cinnamon stick and green cardamom. All these other spices here are optional. They do add flavour. I've got here star aniseed. Um, this I think is called jovetri. Then this is black peppercorn and cloves. And then over here. I've got the actual spices, so I've got haldi, which is turmeric powder, coriander and cumin powder. So that's dhania and that's zira powder. Um, I'm not going to use any chilli powder. Sometimes I like to use fresh green chillies. Of course you need salt. in flame I added the vegetable oil followed by some clarified butter which is ghee to a saucepan crushed ginger garlic until the ginger garlic are golden brown I then added the chopped onions followed by salt and chicken Allow the chicken to cook until it turns white. Mm. 
The onions will eventually break down and the chicken will release a little water. Once the oil separates, add the vegetables. Drain the rice and add that in too. Stir in between, making sure that it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. Once you've sauteed the rice for about four to five minutes, it's then time to add the water. I am using the same measuring cup that I use for the rice. So for six cups of rice, I have added seven cups of water. This is hot boiling water from the kettle, so be careful not to burn your hands. In a few minutes, you will notice that the water has been soaked right in. This is when you need to put the flame all the way down and cover it with a foil and let it cook on steam. In about four to five minutes, I then check to see if my rice is cooked. The plain and simple way to do this is to use your hand. Take out a grain of rice and press with your fingers. It should be soft and fluffy all the way through and no hardness whatsoever. Garnish, I'm going to throw in some fried onions and some fresh coriander leaves. Of course, these are optional. you enjoyed watching if you haven't subscribed it's completely free I'd love you to join join our crew um, and support me uh, in this journey so I can carry on making uh, more and new videos uh, for you until next time folks take care see you all soon
think that's enough. And I think I'll actually take less blocks and just build from here. So let's do that. And look at that. We are here. Inside us is level 60.